everyone welcome back to my channel um, I just wanted to share really quick because I'm excited about this uh, what we're doing currently in our homeschool for the past I don't know week week and a half um, our current read aloud is poppy by Avi and this has been so fun and we're not done with it yet we're just a few chapters away from the end but we've been reading this and my kids adore it and I adore it too I have loved it so, um, I would probably would have ordered this anyways, even if it wasn't suggested, but in the curriculum that we use, it was suggested that we, uh, dissect an owl pellet, since this, uh, literature, read aloud, is about, um, an owl, uh, is one of the main characters, and so to tie in science with our literature, um, we're gonna dissect an owl pellet, which I have never done before, and I was really excited to get this in the mail today. And I want to just open it up on camera and go through it, and also uh, show you guys at the same time what's in here. So this is the owl pellet kit, and apparently it includes a, a student guide, three sterilized owl pellets, tweezers, a probe, and a magnifying glass. And I ordered it from Amazon, <clears throat> but it says it comes from Mountain Home Biological. This was not the cheapest kit. It wasn't the most expensive either. Uh, I think I paid around $22 for it. I can leave a link for it uh, below in the description. But the reason that I ordered this one is because it came with um, a guide for the bones to tell us what kind of bones would be looking at and I noticed some of the other kits did not have that so I thought that was important and it had um, three owl pellets versus two so that I could do one too so here's the pellets and they're wrapped up in tin foil uh, and I haven't unwrapped them yet and I'm not going to right now as I go through the box uh, I will probably film some more as we're dis dissecting it so you'll get to see that uh, let's see, it came with a magnifying glass and a safety notice, <laughs> which uh, is interesting that they can sterilize an owl pellet, so it's just letting me know that uh, any bacteria, I guess, that could harm us has been killed. Uh, it comes with a pellet guide, which is what the main reason that I chose this particular kit. So, I guess that's the kind of owl it comes from, the barn owl. Talks about the pellets and the different kind of prey that owls eat. Um, let's see. Oh, and then it I like that it shows the uh, anatomy of the mice and voles and stuff. So, when we open up these pellets, uh, we can try to figure out what this owl or these owls um, ate, which, I don't know, I thought that was really neat and a nice extra part to other than just, you know, tear it apart and look at some bones and not know where they came from. Some common bones. Let's see. Came with two wooden picks, I guess, to pick these apart and a pair of tweezers which we'll probably just share I think I have an extra little plastic pair but it will require me hunting that down and I think I'd just rather share and that should be fine and what is this oh a bone sorting guide so as we dissect we'll be able to pick out our bones and sort them you know into mole shrew or I guess different kind of rodents um, we might find some bird bones since owls eat small birds as well or insects um, so yeah that'll help us as we're dissecting everything and sorting it out so I'm gonna put this all back in the box but we're gonna do this and I will record us picking some apart and identifying the bones and then at the end let y'all know um, what my kids thought of it and if we liked it I don't really want to. Why? What does it look like? Ew! This. What does it look like? It looks like poo, literally. <laughs> literally looks like Ew. poo. But it's 
not poop. I know, but it literally looks like one. It's puke. Ew. <laughs> puke, so it's touching puke. Yep, I'll puke. There it is. That's what an owl palette looks like. Yep. Can I have something? Oh, I guess even though it's been heat treated, the cat can smell that this is made up of rodent parts. Who are you Because she's very interested in what's going on. What did you find? Smell. What is that? What is, what is I don't that? know. What is that bone right there? Go. It's a big old skull, maybe? Where's your little bones? And then where's your little bones? Oh, my bones. Do you have a skull too? Yeah, I have that you're a skull uncovering? right here. Right here. So, so far we have a lot of little tiny bones and hair and a skull. Looks like part of a spinal cord. It definitely looks rodent. Oh. And we'll have to try to figure out what we're looking at when we're done picking it apart, huh? Oh. Okay, so we've picked it apart, and it looks like we have a pretty decent pile of bones for one pellet. Um, multiple skulls, multiple mandibles, and lots of little ribs and, and pelvises and fibulas and yeah multiple multiple rodents per pellet um we're picking them up and putting them in a baggie to put on our nature shelf and we also this did come in handy while we were um analyzing our bones we were able to identify that most of what we had just fell under this generic rodent category so looks like these, uh, this owl or these owls ate a lot of mice, but a few things did kind of fall under the mole category as far as the fibula goes. Um, and it may just be me not analyzing bones that well, but, but, uh, we've concluded that this owl liked to eat mice and maybe a mole occasionally, or at least it did, um, in the days that it took to cough up these pellets. And... So you can see this chart really did come in handy though. Uh, the main way we were able to identify um, a lot of this was using the mandible and looking at the teeny tiny little teeth and comparing it. That seemed the easiest way to do that. Um, I would say we've been going at this kit probably for an hour at least. And I did help speed things up a little bit um, by helping um, uh, at the end there tear apart some more of the hair and hurry up and get these little bones out so definitely a good project and um, worth the money spent on it and you do spend uh, quite a bit of time on it it's not anything that's over and done with really quickly uh, which I was worried about I was worried we would just break it apart it would break apart really easy and all little bones would come falling out and then we'd just be done but no it did take some precision and time and patience and as you can see it kind of makes a big mess um so this is definitely getting uh washed when we're done but overall yeah worth the money and i will put the link to um I'll put a link to the kit that this kit that we bought uh, down below in the description box. 